back to a new video. How are you all doing? Hope you're all well. So this morning, Liam woke up at like seven o'clock in the morning and he decided that he was going to look. <laughs> Rocky's tangled me. <laughs> Hold on. Scrap that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he decided he was going to look at vans and he looked at what was actually uh, reliable. Yeah. And the vans we were looking at, which was the Boxster, the Relay or the... Ducato. Yeah, Ducato. Um, weren't in the top ten. No. And We've always been a bit um and arming about what van we're actually going to look at anyway. We were kind of a in two minds, yeah. yeah. And the two top ones, or the three top ones, uh, is the VW Crafter, which we probably won't go for. It's a bit more expensive. Yeah. We've got the Ford Transit. Yep. Or the Mercedes Sprinter. Mhm. Mm They're um, always like in the top three yes. for reliability, um, at least online they are anyway. So we've added them in into like the mix of um, what van we are going to get. Um, but today what we're going to do is go and head out to our actual van dealer just so we can have a look at the sizes and stuff because obviously we've looked at like the L3 H2 boxer size um, and that's fine but they don't do the exact same size obviously in any of the other vans um, yeah, so longer, aren't they? yeah so it's like the Sprinter and the Transit and the Crafter they're all longer than the um, than the boxer and stuff to get like the same sort of size because the bed's going to be lengthways rather than widthways so we obviously need it to be a little bit longer. Um, so we just kind of need to go and look at them in real life rather than on pictures and stuff and just kind of see like how big they look, how big they are when you get inside. The one good thing about them is the fact that like they are higher. So it means I'll have more headroom. Um, so yeah, so basically we're just going to go out to a van dealer, which is in Nottingham. It's not very far, about half hour driveway um, and go and check them out. And obviously if there's any there that we really like, um, then we may end up like, buying one. But um, yes. I doubt that'll be the case. It's more of a just go round, scout. Yeah, and just, just see scout. what they're like and see what we think of them as well. Yeah, it's just a scout mission, but we're going to walk back with Rocky now to get in the van and uh, head over to the dealer. About to leave, already packing. Come with me. Right, so we didn't actually find anything at that um, dealership, but we are going to go to another one because we know where the actual dealership is. And we're going to go check it out um, because I think they have a Sprinter there that looks promising. Um, so we're going to head over there now. I think it's about 27 minutes, so not too far. So let's uh, go and check out a second dealership of the day. We've uh, just checked the other place as well and they've got nothing. The guy was saying like to get that sort of size van, they're a bit hard to come by at the minute. Um, there's loads online though, so... Yeah, we can definitely find them online, but he's just got none in. Um, but we're going to call it a day for searching around at dealerships, because there isn't that many around here either, which is quite a bit annoying. But so we're just going to head back to the farm um, and then just have, have a look online, just stick to looking online, really. Um, and, I'm, yeah, we're not too sure about the whole Sprinter, like, transit things, because they're long, like, real long. Compared to, like, the um, like long wheelbase, high top boxes and stuff, um, yeah, they're, like, good two foot, two or three foot longer. Um, which is good, obviously, because you more space, but then it's more difficult to drive in that lot. Um, and we don't need the space either, like the medium wheel... No, oh, sorry, not medium wheelbase. And the long wheelbase uh, boxes are perfectly fine size for us. They're like, we can get everything we want in it. Um, so maybe just stick to them. I'm not too sure at the minute. Um, yeah, we'll just kind of keep browsing online and see what comes up, really. Uh, and then just take it from there. But yeah, we're going to head back to the farm now. Rocky's absolutely baking as well. He's had some water, but yeah, we need to get him back in some shade. <laughs> Right, ignore the no t-shirt situation, it's 28 degrees and I'm boiling, but we've had a turn in the books because we, when we got back we looked on Facebook and um, there was one that just came up for two hours, but when we actually rang them it was a Citroen Relay, a uh, long wheelbase L3 H2, um, and it was up for four grand I think it's up for, from a dealer, um, comes with 12 months MOT, three months warranty, looks really good, um, looks a bit tight, like a bit um, used in the front, but obviously you can tidy that up. So I rang them straight away um, and they was like, oh, someone's coming to look at it, so they'll get back to me. Um, and I've just had a phone call from them now and the guy's cancelled and he can't come till tomorrow. So they've said we can come and look at it tonight. Um, so we're going to shoot off there now. It's about a half hour driveway. So we're going to shoot off there. And I said to them, like, can we just put a deposit down if we want to? Because obviously I've got to sort money out for it. Um, and obviously being half four and they shut at five, I'm not really going to have much time. Um, so he was like, yeah, you can put a deposit down if you want it um, and then obviously pay the rest when you come pick it up for tomorrow or something like that. So hopefully this might be a good van. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a little turn in the books because we thought it was gone. We thought someone's coming to look at it. It's really low mileage. I think it's like 100,000 miles or something, 120,000 miles. So low mileage for the age, I think it's 2008. 
Um, yeah, so fingers crossed, this one might be better than the last one we went and looked at, um, but we'll update you when we actually get there. Right, so we're back from viewing that van now, and it was another no. Yeah. Um, to be honest, it was kind of a rush. We rang up early and they said that someone had come to view it, mm -hmm. and then they rang us and said, literally, come view it now, and it was half four, and they closed at five, but they said they'll stay open for us, so we literally hopped in the van and went. Yeah. Um, but we hadn't checked the MOT history because we hadn't had the registration number, so we couldn't do that. Uh, so we got there, looked around, and bodywork, it was really good. Yeah. But inside, Just yeah, battered. it had never been looked after. No. Considering it only done 124,000 miles, yeah, it, it had been really yeah. Absolute battered, yeah. So, like Tavis said, the bodywork was really fine. I got underneath it and I had a look. Barely any rust, to be fair, which for 2008 was really good as well. So, at the start, it was looking promising again. Um, kind of like the other van, really. <laughs> And then when we opened the cab up, yeah, it'd just been trash. Like, all the seats, stains all over them. Like, when you open the glove compartments and stuff, like, there was kind of not hanging <coughs> off. What are you doing, you idiot? It's me. <laughs> Let me jump. Um, yeah, so when we opened the glove compartment and stuff, like, at the back, it was starting to peel away. Like, clips had broken. There was a hole in, like, the matting in the floor for 124,000 miles. It was crazy. Like, it'd been absolutely trashed. Yeah, and there was oil in the, what is it, the coolant? Coolant chamber, yeah. So when we got under the actual bonnet, um, first thing I noticed was, like, the like coolant chamber that had like black um lit like oil inside it but the coolant that was in it looked fresh and i don't trust it i think it had a head gasket go or something or a gasket go somewhere and oil was getting in the coolant um and they might have fixed it but there was definitely residue of like oil inside the coolant chamber you could see like black yeah. black marks all inside it um and that was just instant nah, i'm not even risking yeah, it was, no point they were still cleaning it when we turned up as well which i thought was a bit weird yeah so yeah we'd give that one another miss um and that's from a dealer as well which kind of was even more disappointing because we was kind of like do you know what we might just look at going to dealers just because we should get a better van because you're paying more money and that was up for Ooh. four grand um yeah so that was up for four grand which is high end isn't it very high end for a 2008 van um fair enough the bodywork is chasing flies <laughs> i'm watching what your rock is doing he's just chasing flies <laughs> he's mad yeah um but yeah so four grand for 2008 van um i think it's well expensive yeah. and i didn't really mind it when we was going to look at it i was kind of going like well it looked decent on the photos if there's nothing wrong with the engine it drives fine and obviously the bodywork look is as good as it looks I didn't care too much about the interior. That's obviously just cosmetic. Like, I don't care. Um, but, yeah, again, like, just to have it that bad, though, for four grand is crazy. Yeah, it's um, nowhere worth four grand. No, never. Like, if it was up for, like, two and a half, I'd have probably been like, nah, maybe I'll risk it, you know what I mean? But, yeah, never yeah, anywhere anyway, no. near that. Um, yeah, exactly. So, another no onwards and upwards. Um, but we're not writing off a transit. I think, at the minute, we've measured it up. Um, and we can get like a five foot eight bed across and then have it like four foot wide, which means we could have like the long wheelbase transit, but not like the super long one, but the extra, like it's not extra high, is it? It's kind of like the high one. It's like yeah. six foot seven, I think it is or something where we actually looked online. But that means I'll have like extra headroom and I'll actually be able to move around comfortably. <laughs> um, it just means the bed will be a little bit smaller, but it means the van won't be huge. So I think we're writing off sprinters, unless we see something like yeah. that catches our eye. But we just don't want like a really long van. Um, like the boxer's size is perfect. And the transit, like the long one, but not the extra long one, um, that's kind of like, looks like a similar sort of size. Um, so I don't mind driving that. Obviously, I will go from like a Yaris to that sort of size van. So I don't really <laughs> want to go. I do feel sorry for you. I'm nervous about driving this big van. I've been driving this transport around for a while. Yeah, exactly. So I don't want to like go up to like a huge van. Not so just for the size, but it's just more the fact that like you can't park in a lot of places, um, like park up at night and stuff. I just can't be arsed without the hassle of having to deal with that, to be honest. Um, and we don't need it. Like we don't need that much bigger than this. It's kind of it would just be nice to have a permanent bed. And it'd be nice to obviously be able to stand up and stuff. So to go over like just to the extreme for no reason um, seems a bit silly. So we're not going to do that. And like I said, unless obviously something really catches our eye that comes up with really good value. Um, but yeah, so I'm, we're not running off transits. But I think at the minute we've narrowed it down to either a transit, the like the long wheelbase one, which is kind of like I can't remember how many feet it was, like twelve feet or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Isn't it? Isn't it? Um, so either that one. Or again, there's still the free like the uh, Ducato and or Ducato and Relay and Boxer. Um, so I think it's between them four vans at the minute. And the good thing is the transits are cheaper than all of them, um, so you can yeah. get like a half decent transit that's like not too old 
for we seen one just a minute ago for like for just over three grand um that was like 2011 done 120,000 miles or something like that um size that we wanted so we're going to put a message about that we're just getting itchy feet i think we yeah i just want to start building yeah i just want to, i just want to get a new van like and get this one gone um because i'm waiting around here as well and like i don't want to be wasting time i feel like if we're not going to do it if we don't find a van or whatever like then we can just go out and start traveling again um, the only reason we're here now is just because, obviously, we're trying to sell this van and build another van. That's yeah. literally the only reason why we're here now. Um, so I don't want to waste too much time. Like, if this isn't going to sell or if we're not going to get a new one um, because, like, they're too expensive for what we want or anything like that, then we might as well just leave and just go travelling and enjoy our time. Um, so I'll probably give it, like, another week or so and just kind of see how that goes and then maybe make a decision about whether we just leave it till later in the year or not then. Um, but I think we're just going to end the video, aren't we, because... There's nothing else we're going to do now for the rest of the day. Yes, but tomorrow we're going to see Archie and Rob again, I think. Yes, and so we should be hanging now. out with them. Yeah, it should be a really cool evening yeah. and night. Yeah, but yeah, so we're going to end the video here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.